Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner. Hey there folks, I'm A.J. Sabine and welcome to Feasting on Agriculture. This month, we are in Monroe where you don't have to be a wise man to find a great steak at Restaurant Sage. <music> Joining us now is Chef Duran Francescon here at the bar of the Restaurant Sage. And thank you so much for having us, Derwin. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you for uh, having me on your show. Well, look, I, I, I looked you guys up on the website and I know that you guys are a farm to fork sort of restaurant. Right. Tell us about that concept and why do you want to work here? I mean. Farm to Fork, I think, is really important and, and to me as a chef, um, dealing with food that I know is locally sourced. So, I mean, in a lot of our food, I mean, our steaks in general are locally sourced from our ranch that is owned by the same owners that own the restaurant. And so, I mean, there's a sense of pride really in that, that you know where your food's coming from. Well, look, man, we are very excited to be here and I'm looking forward to getting in the kitchen to have some great steaks and, I'm sorry, did you say burgers? Burgers. Outstanding. Okay. Well, let's get started, chef. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, folks, we're now in the kitchen with Chef Derwin. Let's get started, my friend. All right. Well, today we have two fresh Kingsland Ranch fillets. We have some fresh Kingsland Ranch ground beef that we're going to turn into a burger. We're going to serve our burger with the normal setup. We're going to have a sourdough bun, some fresh lettuce, tomato, onions, and pickles, a little Dijon and mayonnaise. We're going to toast that bun nice with a little butter here on our griddle. So now we're going to grab a little fresh oil, and not a lot because we don't want to flame up. What we'll do is we'll start with a little salt and pepper. Tell us about the, the flavor of, of fresh grown beef. I know that uh, Dr. King grows his own uh, cows and his own beef, and you guys use that here in the restaurant. Right. Talk about those flavors, about that freshness being, you know, from beef right around the corner. It I mean, it is much fresher, and you can tell the difference. I mean, you can tell the difference in any type of species of cow and how they're raised. I mean, whether or not they're grain-fed, grass-fed, you know, if they are been taken care of and there's actually love put into the food from the start of the process, from raising the cow all the way until grilling it and taking care of something that had to, you know, be taken care of before it was sent to you. We have a hot and a little bit of a colder side. So with that burger and that fat content, we're going to end up somewhere here. I hit it with a little more salt and a touch more pepper on this side. How do you like your steak? Medium rare, that's the only way I eat All it. All right, me too, medium rare, especially filet. So we're gonna get that nice and charred on one side, kind of turn it, flip it over, we'll get a nice medium rare steak. That just makes me hungry. You hear that, that sound of that beef? Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. All right, we're almost done. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this asparagus to go with our filets. We're gonna throw it here on the lower part of the grill so we don't burn it. And we're gonna take our filets and we're gonna go straight to the cutting board over here and let them rest for a second. They look beautiful. All right. So we have that nice charred diamond marks on our burger and our steaks. Like I said, we'll let those guys kind of cook for a second. Explain to folks why it's so important to let this meat rest once you've taken it off the hot flame. So anything that's been heated, of course, is going to be at its juiciest point. Those juices are flowing. Everything's going on in that steak. All that flavor's moving around. But if you don't let it rest, and if you send it out to a table and you cut it, it's essentially gonna bleed across the table. Even though it's not blood, it's just the residual juices, but that's the flavor. Right. So if you right. let that flavor out of the steak, you know, you're gonna have a dry, you know, piece of meat. And that's not what we put all this hard work into doing, that somebody who spent the time growing it and caring for this cow and sending it to us, and now we're cooking it and putting love into it, and then we're gonna send it out and do that. We can't do that. We cannot do that, but here's what we can do. I'm gonna dive into this love. Stick around, we'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back with Chef Derwin Francescon. Thank you so much for having us here at Restaurant Sage. 
Tell us about what you prepared for us today. Obviously, obviously, this is some delicious looking beef. But tell us about it. All right, so we have our Kingsland Ranch filet that we char grilled. We spent a good bit of time taking care of that. And uh, we have some balsamic and red wine glazed cipollini onions, grilled asparagus, and fresh mashed potatoes, and a little bit of that balsamic and red wine reduction across the plate. And what do we have here? Um, we have just a good old burger, um, mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, a slice of tomato or two, onion pickle, and a little romaine lettuce. If you would indulge me, chef, let me cut this open so folks can see this beautiful beef. I'm sure our folks at the Louisiana Beef Industry Council would enjoy me doing this. I, I like this part, look, watch this, watch this, check this out. I'm gonna open part this thing, if I can, like the Red Sea, and look at that. Look at how gorgeous that, look at the juices that we talked about. Yes. You said you wanted to get this thing to rest, of course you have. This is my favorite part of the segment, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. See, I love these big old giant beefsteak tomatoes you got on here. They and, make it so much better. And you know what? You don't even need napkins. You need like a whole bed sheet to wipe your face after this thing. Look at that, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? Excuse me while I uh, Go right work ahead. this out. Mmm. 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 That's fantastic. Simple, delicious. How is your work? It's delicious. I'll never turn down a good steak. Neither will I. And uh, as soon as you get done with that, I'm gonna dive into that other one that you made. But folks, if you have any questions about Restaurant Sage or any of the recipes that we prepare here today, please log on to our website at twilighttv.org. And also, if you guys want information about uh, the Kingsland Ranch, you can go to our website and we'll have a link to that as well. So on behalf of Chef Duran Francesca, thank you. Uh, that's all from here, folks. We'll see you next time. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner.